Hey there, and welcome to section five, exporting out your files. Now, one thing to kind of keep in mind when we're working through Lightroom is that Lightroom is really only one half of the puzzle. The other half is Photoshop. So all the work we've done up until now has been really important, but it's only gotten us to the point where they look good in Lightroom. So the next step is to get them out of Lightroom and into Photoshop. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quickly. First, let's go ahead and decide on a couple images that we want to put into Photoshop. Let's say I want this one, hold down Control or Command, and I'm gonna click on that one. This looks really great. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say that one is fun too. Now it doesn't really matter, I can change my mind later, but we're gonna go ahead and export these images out. So once you've clicked on the images that you'd like to actually use in Photoshop, we're gonna export them out in 16-bit. So we're gonna right click, gonna go down to export, and we're gonna go to export. Okay, now it says export four files, that sounds perfect. In this case, we don't need to rename them. Our file settings, we're going, it's gonna ask us basically what we want these image, images to be saved as. We can choose a JPEG, PSD, TIFF, DNG, or original. Now, in this case, we're gonna use a TIFF. And the TIFF is an industry standard when you're using when you're doing retouching. And the reason is it supports 16-bit depth, which is a lot more information than 8-bit. For instance, if you're using a JPEG, a JPEG, a JPEG will not support 16-bit. So whenever you're retouching, you always want to use 16-bit because it just it has a lot more information. And when it comes to working with skin, that information is very important. Okay, so image format TIFF. Okay, compression you want to be none. Color space, Adobe RGB 1998 is a great color space. Um, avoid sRGB, because that's a small color space. That's only good when you're saving out for the web. But for like actual editing, you'd never, never, never want to edit in sRGB. It's a very small color space. So if you're on Adobe RGB 1998, you're good to go. All right, there we go. And here at the very top, I've got export to choose folder later. All right, so let's go ahead and hit this export. It's gonna export these out as 16-bit TIFFs. So we're gonna hit export. Now in this case, I've already provided you guys with the images that you need. So let's go back to our getting started section here. We're gonna to go to images. And remember there was a capture folder which contained all of our images that, well, all these ones we look, we're looking at right here. Now these exports, these ones that I selected, these are gonna be going into our selects folder, okay? These are like my my picks. These are like the top images that I've got. So from capture, we're going to put them into our selects. So we're going to hit open. All right, there we go. And it's exporting out our files. So what we can do in Photoshop now, we'll just jump into Photoshop really quickly. Now I can go ahead and open. We're going to go to the ultimate guide to retouching here. We're going to go to our images, selects, all right, and there we go. We've learned retouch9.tif. Let's hit open there. All right, and you can see if we go to image, we can go to mode and see that it is in fact 16-bit, which is exactly what we want. All right, so we've opened our images up in Photoshop, so now we know they are good to go for editing. Let's go ahead and quick photo, quit Photoshop, and I just want to be sure to import now my capture folder. So. I'm gonna just click on images here, where we see this is, remember we had our capture, master, output, and selects. We already imported capture. I'm just click, gonna click on images, which is the folder above it. We're gonna click on include subfolders and add. Now, in this case, it already knows all these photos are in there, so it's just gonna add these four that were in my selects folder. Okay, let's hit import there. And now we have, just like in our folder structure, images, capture, master, output, and selects, images, capture, and selects. And when we put things in master and output, which I'll explain in a little bit, um, they'll be in here as well. So basically, capture, these are the files that you take, like these are the ones from your camera. Okay, selects, these are the files that you're actually going to be working on, and these are going to be TIFFs. So capture are going to be DNGs or camera raw, selects are going to be TIFFs. Now, when you're done working on a TIFF, let's say we retouch this image and we do a lot to it, then you wanna save it as a layered TIFF, okay? And that goes in your master folder, okay? Well, don't worry if this is all like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll explain it as we go along. And then when your images are ready to go out on the internet, 
that's your output folder and this is JPEGs, okay? So this is raw, this is a simple TIFF, this is a layered TIFF, and this is a JPEG. All right, cool, let's go ahead and back here. And now we can see here are the selects and here is back in our capture. All right, we're almost done guys. This is, that's how we export. That's, that's what I wanted to teach you. But before we jump out of the section, I just wanna show you a quick before and after of a couple of these. So this is our before, this is straight out of the camera here guys. And this is after. So again, straight out of camera and the after. Let's do it again with this one here. This is straight out of camera, okay? And our after. And we'll do it again for over here. This is our straight out of camera and the after. So you can see, you can make a very big impact on your images just in Lightroom with a couple of simple settings changed. And once they're good to go, you export them out as selects, and then you're ready to jump into Photoshop, which is where we're gonna be doing our retouching.